welcome to another episode today's question is what is rationality if our survival depends on rationality is rationality only an illusion created to survive our human egos so what is our rationality if our survival depends on rationality is it an illusion created to for our survival or is it a product of our ego that is the question first we will see the logical ways of classifying the rationality what is rationality and the classification according to logic which is required actually for the day to day life and also we will see whether it is required to go beyond it because life is not just logic and reasoning first we will see the theoretical part of it from rationality by christian m kosragar rational is a word used to mean orderly intelligible or in accordance with causal laws as when people believe that the world is a rational place so rational means it is orderly intelligible and it is accordance with the causal laws as when people believe what the world is a rational place. in the special sciences or uh, sorry in the social sciences acting rationally usually means acting prudently so in the social science when you say i act rationally it means that you are acting prudently that is at your own best interest that is what it means in social science or acting with an instrumental rationality that is doing whatever gets you to your goal whatever you wants to achieve that is achieved but it may be in your best interest or it may not be in your best interest the result so this is the definition of rationality then we will see types of rationality by stephen kalb kalb this is about max weber's types of rationality max weber defines four types of rationality which are compared with one another practical theoretical substantive and formal there are four types of rationality which is one practical to formal sorry second is theoretical third is substantive and fourth is formal so what is practical rationality it judges worldly activity in relation to individuals purely pragmatic and egoistic interests practical rationality always indicates a diffuse tendency to calculate and solve routine problems by means end the rational patterns of action in reference to pragmatic interest practical rational patterns of action implies subordination of individuals to given realities and concomitant inclination to oppose all orientations based on transcendence of daily routine so put it in simple words practical rationality deals with rationality which is practical in your endeavors whatever you do if it achieves the results then it is practical rationality so if you are pragmatic that is practical rationality then comes the theoretical rationality mastery of rationality 
through the construction of increasingly precise abstract concepts rather than through action theoretical rationality masters reality through thought it contains the potential indirectly to introduce patterns of action so theoretical rationality means uh, it is not about practicality but it is using thoughts you construct abstract theories of rationality and work according to it so the total thing is based on thoughts and theories so that is the theoretical rationality next comes the substantive reality rationality directly orders action into patterns it does so however not on the basis of a purely means and calculation of solutions to routine problems but in relation to a past present or potential value postulate substantive reality it follows the patterns but the patterns are uh, based on means and basis of calculation to routine problems not on the basis of merely means and ends to routine problems but in relation to the past present or potential value postulate friendship for example whenever it involves adherence to such values of loyalty compassion and mutual assistance constitute substantive rationality there is a here an example is given for substantive rationality which is friendship our whole friendship follows our experience with that person the loyalty of the person the compassion that person exudes and mutual assistance which he has given so this is a pattern which we analyzed in the past how he is this pattern of values is a substantive rationality so the substantive rationality is based on the past present and potential values in future we have seen the friendship example next is the formal rationality it relates to spheres of life and a structure of domination that acquires specific and delineated boundaries only with industrialization most significantly all economic legal and scientific spheres and the bureaucratic from the domination formal rationality ultimately legitimates a means to end rational calculation by reference to reference back to universally applied rules laws and regulations so formal rationality is rationality based on rules regulations and laws which may be issued by the government or universally accepted laws of the society so that when it is based on that that is formal rationality this mostly applies to the industrial or business areas of the life so we have seen the theoretical part of the rationality not totally theoretical the social society part of us we will go to the spiritual side whether it is enough if we stop at this rational behavior or we should go beyond it of course basic rational behavior is required but should we stop there or go beyond that we will see that from a few lines from J. Krishnamurti's book, Ending of Time. The scientist, through examination of matter, hopes to reach the ground. 
we x and y say let us become rational in our life and y is easily willing to listen to each other x and y they are willing to listen to each other that's all the very listening is the beginning of rationality so what the agreshamati says if you desire to do something if x says something and if y is willing to listen that very listening is the beginning of rationality and most of us don't listen to anybody so that is what j krishna muti says so the very act of listening is rationality that's what it is next is uh, we will see from great pilgrimage from here to there by osho life is so mysterious that our hands cannot reach to its heights our eyes cannot look into the deepest mystery understanding and expression of existence men women or trees or animals birds is the function of science not of mystic i am not a scientist to me science itself is a mystery and now scientists have started to reject their accept they are dropping their old stubborn superstitious attitude that one day they will know what is to be known one day they will know what what is all to be known that is scientists idea finally we will know what all is that to be known we will know that but that is superstitious that is what osho says with all with instincts the whole history of science has taken a different route because the more he went to into deepest core matter the more he became puzzled all logic was left behind all rationality was left behind you cannot dictate to existence because it does not follow your logic logic is man made there was a point when albert einstein in norbert einstein's life when he remembers that he was wavering about whether to insist on being rational that would be foolish it would be human but not intelligent even if he insist on logic on rationality the existence is not going to change according to the logic is not going to change according to existence so even if you insist on logic that is not going to change the nature nature will function on its own it is not going to change according to your logic it will exist on its own rules and laws the deeper you go the existence becomes more and more mysterious a point comes when you have to leave the logic and rationality and just listen to the nature i call it the ultimate understanding but not in the ordinary sense of understanding you know it you feel it but there is no way to say it man is a mystery woman is a mystery everything that exists is a mystery and all our efforts to figure it are going to fail i am reminded of a man who was purchasing a toy shop in a toy shop present for his son for christmas a man was going to a toy shop he purchased a puzzle in the toy shop for christmas and this man is a well known mathematician so he naturally instead of other toys he took the puzzle and first he tried before uh, he wanted a person to purchase it and present to his son he wanted to try it he tried in the shop itself before purchasing 
But again and again he tried, but he could not solve the puzzle. And people were looking at him and they all know he is a famous mathematician. So he was feeling very awkward that a great mathematician, he could not solve it. And the shopkeeper was also watching. And uh, however he tried, how many times he tried, so how long he tried, he could never bring it to a, the result. The puzzle was inconclusive. So finally, after a very long time, he dropped the idea. Trying many, many times, he dropped the idea. He looked at the shopkeeper. I am supposed to present this to my son. And I am a famous mathematician, you know that. And even if I cannot solve this, how will a kid solve this? The shopkeeper comes with the client. You don't understand. It is made in such a way that nobody can solve it. Mathematician or not a mathematician, anybody, nobody can solve it because it is made that way. And the mathematician asks, why is it that way? Shopkeeper said it is ma made that way so that the boy from the beginning starts to understand that life cannot be solved. It is not a problem to be solved. It is not a problem to be understood. Life is to be lived. To teach that only it is made that way. So that is the answer. So with this we will end this episode. Stay with me for another episode. Subscribe to my channel. Share this video. Thank you.